Hi there, everybody. I'm Kelly Heidbreeder, and this is Lenaway. We're taking that tour around Lenaway County to see some amazing things going on in our classrooms. Hudson students will make you stand up for our American flag with pride, and you'll want to grab some tissues for this touching story. We will also show you how your student can take some college classes while they are in high school. And we have a really fun story with our special needs students. They spent the day making pies with our student chefs. Well, right now, let's check in on Adrian High School. They have a great program for their students called International Baccalaureate Skills, and they are preparing for the real world in high school. We've developed a class called the 21st Century Learner, and they are working with Spiros, um, which is a basic robotic ball that they are learning how to code. And so they're putting commands into a device, an iPad or an iPhone, and then using those codes to make the Sphero do different things. Their enthusiasm, I think, is huge. But from the very first day we got them out and just walked into class with it rolling beside us, and they were hooked right then. What is it? How do you do it? How'd you get it to do it? And they're so excited about it. Right now, they're learning all the different um, capabilities of Sphero so that they can put those together and eventually build a obstacle course. In our project, we're making a pentagon. Since there's five equal sides, you have to figure out the angles for each of the sides. The way that the Sphero is, is that you have to have the right heading for it to go to the right direction. So you need to divide the number of sides of the Pentagon to the degrees in a full circle. So 360 divided by 5 would be 72. So you basically add 72 each time for each angle. It shows us how to do different things with math and what it can be used for. What we're going to show you how to do is code the Sphero to be able to make it a pentagon. We're going to make it change colors and it's going to roll in different ways. We program it by using commands. The roll command is what makes it go. Also we need a stop command so it stops in order for it to be able to turn to go to the next heading and the delay is how long it stops for. For me it's more of a hands-on activity and hands-on activities help me more because more like reading out of a book, sometimes you have to go back and reread what it's trying to tell you, but with a hands-on activity, it's easier to understand. I think that this is exciting some kids to maybe explore something that they wouldn't normally explore. I've never coded before this class. So it's been really fun to watch them teach each other how to do this without us really even having to say much. This, this is AMS 556 and this is how we code Spheros. Students will be ready to make a smoother transition into the world after high school going through this program. What a great experience. Now get ready to stand at attention and grab your tissues. Our students in Hudson schools got a chance to see how our veterans prepare for Flag Day and how to take care of these stars and stripes and just what a big job that is. Hi, I'm Duncan Kuykendall. I'm here at Hudson High School with Mr. Lance Horwath. What was the purpose of today's assembly? Well, I had a chance to talk with uh, Jim Frederick from the Hudson American Legion, uh, and we both agreed that it would be a good time for our high school students to be reminded of uh, uh, the importance of uh, uh, ceremony when it comes to our flag. Uh, we had a chance today to learn a little bit about uh, and remind ourselves of what the Pledge of Allegiance is. Uh, each word or uh, section of words was broken down by Mr. Dave Rickard. Uh, he did a great job uh, explaining what those words meant so it wasn't just something that you say, but now you may think a little bit more uh, what those words mean. Also had a chance to have him talk a little bit about the oath of enlistment that he and the members of the American Legion took when they entered the military years ago. Uh, had a chance to uh, see the flag and uh, watch them fold the flag. Uh, one thing I did not know was that their, uh, each fold represented uh, uh, something different uh, and there were 13 folds in the flag. Really the biggest thing that, uh, that I wanted our kids to take out of this was that um, it's important to know why you're doing things. 
uh, when it comes to our flag and when it comes to our Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, and it's also important to honor our, our uh, veterans. And so to have the American Legion and us connected, uh, I think it's always a good thing. So appreciated them coming out today. What specifically do you want the students to take away from this experience? Certainly, I think, uh, as I was just talking to a student who walked out of here, I think uh, at, at the next funeral uh, that he's at, uh, that is a military funeral, he's going to think differently a little bit about the flag when it comes to uh, uh, what that stands and represents. Uh, certainly want our kids to not uh, just recite words when it comes to a Pledge of Allegiance, but really understand what that Pledge of Allegiance is. I think our country is getting back to a... Uh, a time period where patriotism is important and so we're really pushing that and that's what I really want our kids to take out of this today. Wow, I just love that assembly at Hudson and to me my favorite part is watching the students and the veterans spend time together. What a great way to pass on some great American pride. Coming up next, our school nurse has some ways to keep you healthy. Hi, I'm Mike Rowe. 14 years ago, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. Well, this year, she celebrated her 50th wedding anniversary. Is that why you've taken off your jeans? No, I've taken off my jeans to prove the link between jeans and the fight against breast cancer. Well, that's interesting. Do I have to take off my jeans? No, nobody has to take off their jeans, Mom. But everybody has to go to DenimDay.com right now. I'll explain everything. Dress code optional. Apparently. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Learn more at DenimDay.com. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. Hey, welcome back. Good nutrition and exercise are things we work on all of the time to stay healthy, but some things are a little tougher to talk about, and that might be topics like keeping your feet in tip-top shape. Our school nurse, Mary Markle, tells us what to do if our feet aren't so healthy in a wellness 101. I'm Mary Markle, LISD nurse. We're gonna talk about nail fungus. It's a common condition that begins as a white or yellow spot under the tip of your fingernail or toenail. As the fungal infection goes deeper, it may cause your nail to discolor, thicken, or crumble at the edge. It can affect several nails, but usually not all of them. If your condition is mild and not bothering you, you may not need treatment. But if your fungus is painful and has caused thickened nails, self-care steps and medications may help. Even if treatment is successful, the fungus often comes back. When fungus infects the areas between your toes and the skin of your feet, it's called athlete's foot, tinea pedis. You may have nail fungus, also called oncomycosis, if one or more of your nails are thickened, brittle, crumbly, or ragged, distorted in shape, dull with no shine, a dark color caused by debris building up under your nail. Infected nails also may separate from the nail bed, a condition called onchalysis. You may feel pain in your toes or fingertips and detect a slightly foul odor. See a doctor if self-care steps haven't helped. Also see a doctor if you have diabetes and think you're developing nail fungus. Treatment may include oral antifungal drugs, medicated nail polish, or cream. I'm Mary Markle. Be well. Well, if you'd like to contact Mary, just email her at mary.markle at lasd.us, or you can give her a call at 517-265-1689. When we come back, we are going to college. So grab your pencil and paper. We'll tell you how your kids can get college credit while they're in high school. Go for a mouthful. One stack is what it takes, and it's gopher, gopher, gopher cakes. Open wide, stuff your face. There's always room for more gopher cakes. Oh. Empty the box, they're reload. Eat those gopher cakes till you explode. Exercised lately. Till you explode. Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. 
An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Many students with great study skills are able to handle high school with no problem at all. And some can even handle college. We have a program here in Lenawee County called Middle College. We have a school right here at the LISD Tech Center that is a blend between high school courses and Jackson Community College courses. And kids can actually graduate from high school with a high school diploma and an associate's degree all at the same time. Check out what the students in Middle College have to say about their high school college experience. At the Academy, it's not just about learning new information and earning a high school diploma and associate's degree. It's a lot more than that. It's about developing the whole you. What type of person are you? How do you treat others? How do you treat yourself? What does personal responsibility mean? What does it mean to love others? Why is self-control so important? At the Academy, we are constantly reflecting on who we are and who we are becoming. It's like we're recreating ourselves as learners and as leaders of our generation, building a life that matters. JCLISD Academy is a public middle college that exists for capable and motivated students here in Lenawee County. It exists in partnership with all 11 local school districts, and students have the opportunity to transition into college to complete up to an associate's degree with a minimum of 15 transferable college credits while meeting the Michigan high school graduation requirements. The first thing that you'll notice is it's not a typical high school, and it's definitely not the same classroom. I chose the Academy because it's a great opportunity for my future. Because of the Academy, I've been able to work on high school while working on my college degree. Our students are not just taking college prep courses to get ready for college. Our students will eventually transition into college with support. Students must be at least 13 years old and have successfully completed the 8th grade year. Older students will be evaluated for age and credit status. All the learning takes place on the college campus. Our classrooms are equipped with smart board technology, dock cameras, audio visual equipment, and even Apple TV. Each student has their own personal laptop, and this really helps extend the learning outside of the traditional classroom. The Academy, as we call it, is a really great opportunity. An opportunity to do high school and college at the same time. An opportunity for students like me to really take ownership of our learning. It's an opportunity to do college with support. I mean, everything that we do at the Academy, we compare ourselves to the college because we are with college students, so the expectations are a lot higher. It's different here. We like to say everything is our fault. You succeed, it's our fault. You fail, it's our fault. 100% of what happens is your fault, just like real life. And that's what's so cool about the Academy. We have that opportunity to be rewarded for our success and not slowed down by any system, schedule, or time restraint. You know, it's not how far you can throw a football or how fast you can run, but how serious you are about your future and setting yourself up for long-term success. I love it. I'm in constant communication with my teachers. I remember working on Google Docs at 9 p.m. at night and getting instant feedback from my teachers as I was working on it at home in my room. The beauty of using the technology to give real-time feedback is that the student was able to complete the assignment. She didn't have to wait until the next day to continue the learning. I chose to come to the Academy because I want a place where I could focus more on my education and future rather than the social life I was more worried about at my old school. This program is designed to fully immerse students into this post-secondary learning environment while allowing them the opportunity to complete their high school diploma and their associate's degree through the Michigan Department of Education's 4 Plus 1 program. It gives students an opportunity to earn college credits while still in high school and offers motivated, academically focused students a chance to enroll in advanced college level coursework. Our students choose to go to school year round. They take evening classes, weekend classes, summer classes, online hybrid, it never stops. Truly an attitude of lifelong learning and that's a value that we like to nurture. I like that the learning doesn't only happen from 7 to 3 o'clock. For us it's really 24-7 at any time in any place. One-to-one -one mobile technology is new for traditional schools and they are just starting to head in that direction. But for us it's a part of what we've always done. I create online tutorials, online quizzes, publish my daily notes, and also put up additional lessons and practice problems on my classroom website. We are recreating education. It is not about the adults in education or how we've always done things. Learning is what drives our innovation. 
We build systems that allow students to learn before, during, and after school because that is what the learners need. I used to have to wait until I got home to start my homework, which was extremely inconvenient because I would have to try and remember what the teacher had said after six hours had passed. Here, I can start my homework in between classes, and if I have a question or need something retaught, I can go to a teacher and get help that I need immediately. Students are working together and collaborating at all times. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I don't come to school till 2, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have school from about 9 to 5, and it has an hour and a half to two hour lunch. Well, mine looks a little bit different from Bronwyn's, and in the beginning, I had all high school classes, but now I've picked up two college classes. That's kind of like why I came here. I wanted to challenge myself my senior year and push towards my future. Well, I'm only 15 years old and I'll be ending the semester with two college classes and I'll be graduating high school with an associate's degree. I go to tutoring every day. Tutoring for me is a time where I can make mistakes and then I have someone encouraging me and reteaching me what I need to learn. We know traditional students are graduating unprepared for the rigor of college and career and often experience a sense of disillusionment or failure straight out of high school. The Academy allows students to ease into the college world with support, and the research supports the middle college students more likely to complete a bachelor's degree at a four-year institution, less likely to take developmental courses, and are graduating with a greater sense of career awareness. So we have small classrooms, great teachers that take the time to get to know you, care about you, and encourage you. A college campus environment. After school tutoring every day. More challenging courses, and courses that are actually meaningful. Like Thomas Edison said, we often miss opportunity because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. Sure, this will be work, lots of it, but the payoff is also big. The financial gains of completing this program is a huge point that many underestimate and often irresponsibly ignore. We know education pays, but many don't advise students as they're talking about this because it's in the future. But the reality is for our students, it's the reality they're living today building their future right now. I came to the JCLISD Academy my sophomore year in high school. I was able to work on high school and work on my college degree. I'm still graduating the same time as my friends who are just receiving their high school diploma, but I'm also receiving my associate's degree. As a student athlete at the Academy, nothing is easy. It still takes time and it takes a lot of hard work. I have to set up my schedule so it works around my sports schedule and around my high school and college schedule. Sometimes I will be taking two to three courses and I will be playing a sport and I have to tell my coach my classes are going to come first. My coach was understanding because school is more important to me than sports. Being 18 and would have been a senior at my whole high school, they would have treated me like a kid. Where here I have the independence to do what I want and I love it. I love the positive and encouraging environment here at the Academy. It's like we're more than just a school. It's like we're a family. If you'd like more information on registering for middle college, you can reach Jonathan Tobar at jonathan.tobar at lisd.us or give him a call at 517-265-1657. Coming up next, Blissfield students are using high-tech tools in their classrooms. There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play, or even what you wear. You just need to be there. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. Kids today have grown up on computers, so having a computer in their classroom shouldn't be too hard for them to tackle. And students at Blissfield schools are incorporating tablets into their daily work. Today in our classroom, you are going to see some really cool stuff. We have a third classroom that's entering. They come down for writing four days a week. Uh, it's a third grade classroom for Mrs. Phillips' class. We have been working on an opinion piece writing on whether you should or should not eat turkey for Thanksgiving. The kids have been working in collaborative groups with some gradual release on their own, compiling their thoughts and their papers and putting them all together. And then they took time on the iPads to find pictures to support their different thoughts and theories. 
and today they're going to be working on a program called Book Creator on the iPads, putting all these together where they can add their pictures plus their words on different pages. They'll be able to do a voiceover and in the end create a book video that they'll be able to upload and send to their parents. My kids will tell you they are learning how to code, which a lot of people when you say what's coding, they have no idea, but they're learning how to design and implement their own ideas into video games and learning how to make a game work and to maneuver. So the fact that they're able to word process on their iPads, code on their iPads, do common core curriculum on their iPads, and have things that can carry out you know, in school to home also, it's pretty amazing that we're able to make those connections and worked on for so long. I still got compliments even when we started school around this year that that's one of their favorite things, that they still go back and look at what their kids created. Technology allows us to do that. It allows us to preserve those memories now, not just in a picture or scrapbook, but their kids' voices and all those things. So I think that's pretty amazing. Hi, I am Autumn Barron from Blissfield Elementary and on our one-on-one -on -one iPads we are doing Class Kick. So we read a book and it asks us questions and we will fill in the questions or draw in um, our answers and it helps a lot because it's easier and we don't have to write a lot of things down. I like it a lot more than the paper because it's easier to do and um, it, it and the questions help you and we can like hit a button to please help and please check and it's a lot easier. We try to integrate the iPads and many of the activities that we do. So for today's reading they are using an app called Class Kick that allows them to be paperless. Uh, we use the technology to do our um, attendance in the morning. They use it to sign out to use the restroom and to check out classroom books. One of the things that the students really enjoy, um, I think, are probably playing some of the, the games. Uh, they love to practice math, facts, and other activities on some dog, which allows them to um, play games against their classmates, against a computer, or even against students from across uh, the country or the world. It does give them lots of opportunity to practice without having to use flashcards or um, paper pencil tasks. It's always good to see the students using the latest technology and it sounds like it's a second nature to them. When we come back we're heading to the kitchen to make some yummy memories with our students. The inherent right to work is one of the elemental privileges of a free people. Endowed, as our nation is, with abundant physical resources, and inspired as it should be to make those resources and opportunities available for the enjoyment of all, we approach re-employment with the real hope of finding a better answer than we have now. Donate to Goodwill, where your donations help fund job placement and training for people in your community. Life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Our student chefs are always whipping up something wonderful in their culinary class here at the LASD Tech Center. And they had some very special classmates visit with them. The LASD Adult Training Services is also known as ATSS. Now this program helps transition our special needs students by working with others in our community and around our school here in Lenoy County. And they got to help the student chefs in our culinary class make pumpkin pie. This is really fun. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Higgins, the instructor for ATSS. How are you doing? 
Doing great, thanks. Um, can you tell me what's going on here today? Yeah, absolutely. We're doing a collaboration between my classroom and the culinary arts classroom here at the Tech Center to make pumpkin pies great. for Thanksgiving. And what do you want your students to learn through this experience? First and foremost, they're adults with disabilities and we want them to be able to participate in Thanksgiving like an adult at home. So they get to take these Thanksgiving pies home and share them with their families. Well, it gives them great confidence and pride. They love to, to participate with their peers here at the Tech Center. I'm very proud of them. I'm thrilled that they're able to do these things on their own and with their friends. So Hunter, what are you doing? We're making pies, pumpkin pies. I've done it before at um, my at my dad's house. We do a dessert auction and um, I did pies for it. I did like a chocolate pie, a pumpkin pie, and cherry pies. This has kind of a, become an annual tradition. I believe this is our third year doing it. Um, so it, it gives our, our normal traditional students a time to interact uh, with those, that special population students. Uh, and, and really understand how they work, um, kind of get to know each other, and, and really kind of bring them all together. It makes me feel great, and, and I think the students have a whole new appreciation for what they're doing, um, you know, in the classroom and, and for, you know, general mankind as well. And I think it also shows them a whole different perspective on the teaching world as well, that when we, us teachers that have to teach, and now they're having to do it to a, another student, is totally different. How was this cooking experience? Appetizing, very hungry. Yeah, yeah. I, the smell, the smell in here is, is terrific. When you're blind, did you know that all your senses take over, right? Your nose is stronger, your hearing is stronger, your touch is stronger. So, so pumpkin pies are probably going to taste a little bit better for you. Probably. Right, it won't so. look better, but you know. Yeah, well, I, yeah, that's all right. It doesn't matter what the food looks like, matter what it tastes like. Yeah. Blind or not, pumpkin pies still taste delicious. I just love the collaboration of classrooms, and it sure tastes good, too, because I love the pumpkin pie. <laughs> well, that's our show, and thanks for sharing time with us. If you see something amazing going on right here in Lenaway, we want to know about it. You can just email me at lisdtv at lisd.us. I'm your host, Kelly Heidbreder. Make it a great day.